everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys. So in honor of the $4.95 sale, which again is pretty incredible on the shower gel, the lotion, the moisturizing body wash, and um, the diamond or there's, what is it? It's a diamond. Sh no, it's shiver fizz body lotion. I keep calling it diamond. It's not the diamond one. It's a shiver fizz body lotion. So $4.95. So this is a really good time to stock up on your shower gel. I use a ton of shower gel in my house. Like that's like my number one. Oh my gosh. Gotta have it. Shower gel is huge in my house. All of us use it. So I wanted to rank for you the Halloween shower gels. I've got number six to number one. And you're going, but wait, there's only four. I'm including Immortal. And I'm also including Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin because to me, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin is really a Halloween shower gel um, because it's nice. That, it's that nice, crazy, like rich, cinnamony, clovey pumpkin. I wish we had a candy corn body wash. That is my really big wish list <laughs> for Bath and Body Works. They also could have given us chocolate for Halloween. Oh my gosh. Uh, remember Hot Cocoa and Scream and the candle? Could you imagine if they did that in the shower gel? Oh, that would be amazing. So I'm going to start doing this. Okay. In the number six slot, I have Girlfriend. I know a lot of you might be surprised. Uh, it's pretty. It's pink. Got a little Barbie thing going on. Um, I decided I don't like Ghoul Friend as much in a shower gel. I like it better as a mist and a cream. Dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. Um, I think the problem for me is I like to take a shower at night, and this is a nice wake you up scent. Um, so if I used it in the morning, I might be a little bit more on board. But as a um, as an evening scent, I think it's a little bit too spine chilling <laughs> for me at night. Although I do like the color. I don't not like it. I actually like all of them. But for me this year, uh, Ghoul Friend is actually number six. Number five is Wicked Vanilla Woods, which is magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. I don't think I like pink pepper in the shower. I know a lot of people were saying, is this vanilla romance? I actually don't think this is anywhere near vanilla romance. That pink pepper note um, is a little too much for me in the shower gel. I like it, believe it or not. It's not a bad bubble bath because it kind of disperses more um, as a bubble bath. Um, but it's not like my favorite favorite. So number four is immortal. I like immortal. So I feel like this is a unisex scent, even though it's marketed as a men's scent. That plum note, Lenny was right. The plum note's amazing. Black plum, suede saffron, and haunted woods. It's funny, in the men's care, they say three in one hair, face, and body wash, which is interesting because I think it's the same formula. I mean, let me look at the it looks like the same ingredients exactly. They just market it as um a hair, face, and body wash for men, I guess because they like to use one product for everything, where we women have to have a separate product for everything. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is the number uh, four. I do like it. Yes, thumbs up. My top three. Top three for Halloween in the three slot is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I used this last night in the shower. Um, I love the, um, the pumpkin swirl cake. That's creamy. It's a really nice relaxing scent, but if you want a really intense one with a lot of cinnamon, oh yeah, you're going to want to shower in Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. It's Heirloom Pumpkin, Autumn Cinnamon, Ginger Snap. It's the Ginger Snap that just like gets in there um, and whipped vanilla. Oh, Coco agrees. Coco's barking. I don't know. Someone at the door probably. <laughs> Top two. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, number two is Vampire Blood. I love my Vampire Blood in the shower. I don't like that bath busy though. <laughs> uh, red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. Oh yeah, I've, I've been using this like crazy in the shower. I love it. I love the petrifying plum. Um, again, plum in, plum in the fall, it really works. So if you like that plum note, 
get a few extras of these for Christmas. You're gonna you're gonna like the plum at Christmas. So where does that leave us? Number one is candy apple cauldron. I don't love it in the mist. I like it in the shower gel. It is mysterious green apple, simmering sugar, and crystallized bergamot. Oh my gosh. That green apple note. And it's funny because you're going, Bonnie, wait, you don't like wake me up scents in the shower. I like this one. Although I think this is more, I think it's kind of chill at night. Like I use these at night and I'm like, ah, green apple. It's refreshing, but it's not like totally waking me up. So what I do is I have one of those like shower racks from um, Home Goods. And what I do is I put like, um, 10 shower gels in the rack five and five. And sometimes I use like three different shower gels during a shower, like I'll coordinate. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll just like switch off. I like to use a different shower gel every night. Um, I never use the same shower gel like in a row. I'm always doing like different shower gels. So I wanted to do my top six ranking on the shower gel for Halloween. Obviously, these aren't fall. They're just Halloween, except for Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which is a little folly. But for the most part, um, these are Halloween scents. So again, uh, you could buy all six right now for oh under 30 bucks. Oh my gosh, that's like a huge, huge deal. So don't forget the sale tonight uh, for $4.95. I got to do my shopping because, um, this is huge. Anyway, let me know what your number one favorite Halloween shower gel is, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.